This is a potato. I love the potatoes. No, sorry. Three, two, one. Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Slightly darker settings right now, going for the full Nigella Lawson effect. Um, but don't worry, I won't be licking my lips and stuff. Well, maybe, because this is an amazing recipe. Dolphin wild potatoes. <laughs> I used to make massive trays of dolphin wild potatoes in my old, uh, in my first chef's job ever. I worked at a hotel and we used to make huge trays of this. I veganized the recipe and it's in my first book, Vegan 100, which you can get now. Just click the link below this video. This dish is amazing as a side, but honestly, I could eat this all, literally all day, every day. It's so, so Moorish, so, so creamy, um, garlicky, oniony, thyme. I got mustard in there. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, so I'm going to get straight into it. I hope you enjoy the recipe. First up, I need to get our creamy mixture on the stove heating up. Let's go. To a saucepan, add a tin of coconut milk, a cup of soy milk or any non-dairy milk of your choice. Next, I'm going to chop up some red onions and add them to this. This is going to add a really nice oniony flavour, obviously, and five cloves of garlic because it wouldn't be dolphin wild potatoes without a lot of garlic. Now, in my recipe book, I do say shallots. I couldn't get any shallots for some reason. Uh, I'm using red onions instead, uh, but shallots work best. Slice these fine. Add a handful of freshly chopped thyme. Add some Dijon or whole grain mustard and some nutritional yeast. So if you don't have nutritional yeast, don't worry, leave it out. Basically, this is a really sort of umami cheesy flavor. You can get it from all good vegan supermarkets. Um, but as I said, if you don't have it, leave it out. You could also add something like mustard or soy sauce for that same sort of umami flavor, but it adds a nice cheesiness, that uh, um, uh, nutritional yeast. So I'm gonna now get this on a low heat behind me until it sort of comes to a simmer. Before I do that, I'm gonna add some salt and pepper, which is so important in all of my recipes. Honestly, if you don't add salt and pepper, it'll be bland, I promise. So guys, for the potatoes now, we need to use a mandolin, and this is very important um, for making this dolphin wild potatoes. You need to get these potatoes as fine as possible. If you don't have a mandolin, I recommend getting one <laughs> um, or just use a sharp knife and try and cut them as thin as you can. Um, but I'll show you how simple it is using a mandolin. You have to be very careful. These are dangerous pieces of equipment and they do come with a guard and uh, I will use it when the potato gets lower down if I can find it. Yeah, anyway, I've used these. I've got lots of experience with these. I'll teach you how to use it now. So I'm gonna set this mandolin to the medium setting, which is quite fine, but you can just test it. So you want to grab a potato and you just want to put a little bit of pressure. So you want them about this fine here, like that. So I'm going to get through these now and just be very careful of my fingers. And at home, please be careful. I do not want anyone cutting themselves. Uh, alternatively, cut a flat surface and that the, keeps the potato level and then you can cut nice slices of potato. So you can do it that way, but just make sure you cut a flat surface so the potato isn't rocking everywhere when you're cutting it, okay? Safety instructions over, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> and I'm gonna finish making these potatoes into nice slices. So I'm using some Maris Piper potatoes. Use a potato that, like a baking potato, something like that, that's not too high of a water content. You want something that's quite waxy almost. So 
So there we go. There's my potatoes nice and thin. Once my beautiful creamy sauce behind me is simmering, I'm gonna get these into it. And that will sort of pre-cook them before I get them in the roasting tray and into the oven. So guys, the beautiful creamy mixture here has come to a boil. It's smelling absolutely wonderful. Onions are nice and soft now. It's just time to get these potatoes in and mix it up. And that is gonna sort of soften these potatoes. The starch is gonna come out of them. It's gonna help stick them and bind them when they go into the roasting tray. So let's get them in. Put half in and then give it a mix up and add the rest. The starchiness of the potatoes has thickened up that creaminess. It's coated every single piece. It's smelling amazing. And the next step now is to get it into my baking dish and into the oven. Okay guys, so as you can see, I've just pressed this into the dish. So compact in as much as you can and then get a piece of greaseproof paper, line it and press it down again. And then get this in the oven for around 20 to 25 minutes at 180 degrees. And it should come out looking beautiful and golden. But what I'll probably do is take this grease, greaseproof paper off after around 15 minutes and let the top just caramelize and look amazing. So let's get this in. Absolutely incredible. That is amazing. Oniony, creamy, creamy, <laughs> creamy, garlicky. I love the caramelization on top and the creaminess and the softness of the potato inside. It's amazing. This is the perfect side dish, but as I said, I could eat this all on its own like that. But I am going to be making vegan roast chicken soon, actually, in a video coming up. And I'm going to serve that with this. So you have to stay tuned for that video. To make sure you don't miss it, hit the notification bell. Please subscribe, please, please like, share and comment. Um, my book's out if you want a book. I've got a Christmas book out too. This recipe is actually from Vegan 100, so please go and get that. The link's below if you want a signed book. The link's below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Remember, when I hit one, one million subscribers, I'll be announcing where my restaurant's going to be, so please subscribe if you want me to have a restaurant. Let's see. Let's... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs>